god. Please god. Please god. Nobody oh, behind us. Like I'm telling you, bro. It'll go down right there and start spinning. Yeah. Oh. My mom ain't sick yet. we just got that alert. Um, Lord know, Jesus, please do don't do it right here. Look, look, it's spinning right here already, baby. Yeah, look. it is. Oh, my God, oh, baby. Go. Uh, on that truck just turned around, too. Oh, my look God, this. baby. This, I never in my life seen this. Oh, my God, it's one coming Ooh, down, red baby. Down, red down, red down, turn around. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh God, mine look like a tornado is gonna happen in front of us it right now. It's happening right now. It's spinning. It is. We gotta turn around. Oh my God. We gotta turn around. What we do? What we, we do? Turn there it goes right there. See it. Mom, what we do? Oh, no, stay right here. Stay right here. Stay no, right no. here. Stay right here. Mom, what we do? Stay right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. Mom. Stay right here. We in a tornado. I don't know what to do. It's spinning right here, right now. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh, man, it's gonna spin the car oh, right now. Jesus, I'm gonna oh, go park. Go. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh my God. Mom, this shit crazy, oh, mom. Oh my God. Mom. Oh my God. Mom. Oh my God. This shit is spin. Oh my God. 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 Stay right now. Stay right here. Oh my Stay God. Stay right here. Jesus. Stay right here. We in a oh my, oh my God. Mom. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mom. Oh my God. Oh my God, Jesus. Mom. Oh my God. Jesus, look at this shit. Oh my God. She can fuck up, you know. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, my God. oh I'm suing my job. Oh my God. They got me oh fucked up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. I ain't never been no shit like this day Oh my God! Oh my fucking God! Oh my God! Lord Jesus, he will please be with us, Lord. Mom! Oh my God! Mom! Oh Jesus! Oh my God, bro, that shit! Oh my God. Mom! This is Romans 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we nearer than we believe. Before I get started, I want to give all praise and glory to our beautiful power, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakak Wadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this beautiful truth. Okay, and being great leaders and examples for the nation of Israel. Okay. Honor to you brothers after labor in truth and sincerity. And, uh, you know, likewise with the, uh, you know, the speckled bird, uh, speckled bird brethren, you know, and sister and two, you know, you might, you may look like, you may look like the other nations face value, but indeed your spirit goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which makes you an Israelite. Okay. Peace and blessings, shalom to you and families also. And, uh, likewise, you know, peace and blessings to the few sister Aquaf that listen okay in silence okay so you know I've seen a clip that i brought out you know and before i get started and the reason why i brought out uh romans 13 and verse 11 first is because you know it is a high time to wake out of sleep okay let's just say and our salvation is nearer than we even believe okay but with our salvation being nearer than we believe what 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 uh what um comes with that too in the midst of it you no know, destruction hell and chaos Okay, and uh, you know, simp a simple scripture I just uh, quote that back me up what I'm trying to say. Don't the righteous shall shall scarcely be saved. Okay, so all this chaos, all this dramatic shit that's going on, uh, that's, that's happening, had to happen first before the salvation come. Okay, so we have to be in the midst of it. All right. So with that being said, like that video, that dude screaming for his mom, saying, "What do I do?" You know, we're trying to let you know through the spirit prayer about Shemal Shai, you got to fear your how about Shemal Shai, and uh, the Lord will guide you to, to do the right thing. He will guide you to protect you. Okay, that's what you do. You fear the Lord. You know, fear your how about Shemal Shai. That's the beginning of knowledge. Okay. 
and you know and you're not gonna you know uh find protection and comfort in the name of jeebus because they was calling jeebus in that video okay and your mama ain't gonna save you either you know that's why you know we gotta throw away our lives and, and, and trust in you how about you shy you know with that's being that's uh you know with that being said you no know, side note before i start the lesson you know the stuff that's going on with hurricane um milton hurricane helene okay hurricane helene you know it's all judgment for me how about your mouth shy of course but you know if you jakes don't wake up and see who your enemy is and see who's fucking causing all this destruction after all this stuff is happening with uh you know north, north carolina and uh tampa uh, uh, uh florida then uh, we don't know what the hell wake all jakes up man okay because it's obvious that it's esau edom that's doing these things man okay you know uh the same thing they did with hawaii okay they hit a, a, a particular part in hawaii that they wanted okay and they got it by bloodshed which i would get okay and uh what's happening in um helene you know they did what they did with that ultimately for the uh you no know, that lithium okay which is very high value in money okay and what they're trying to do with tampa bay all right is um you know a 15 minute city and guess who's behind it kill gates okay so this right here of course is the judgment of yah bashima shai first and foremost of course but who gave this world you know who 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 let the uh uh who gave the management to um to these people you know ultimately that's ruling right now job 9 and 24 you know the, the earth is giving into the hands of the wicked and they're doing a poor job okay you know the stuff that's going on uh in north carolina too they was, they was trying to rescue people but the people that was trying to rescue other people they was threatened to get arrested okay so stuff like that should show you who the fuck the devil is and you can't see who the devil is you know by that stuff you know since you don't want to listen to the prophets then hey whatever's coming your way jake you deserve it so that's enough that's enough of what i said you know i just want to you know add some side notes to what's going on you know out there and why they're doing it man okay and a woman at my job and honestly man i ain't gonna say all that but i'm gonna say you know a woman at my job told me uh them people out there uh i believe in tampa bay or Haleen, i can't remember what she was speaking about but the kids man and people have to uh i don't know if it's true but she told me that they have to write write down uh something like a permanent marker of their date of birth on their arms you know <laughs> but anyways though i'm not trying to speak too much so let's just jump straight into the uh, scriptures so i'm gonna get amos 3 and verse 7 straight to the point lord willing is edifying okay so this is amos 3 and verse 7 and it reads you know verse 2 is beautiful but i'm gonna start at verse 7 i'm gonna start, start at verse 6 amos 3 I'll start at verse 7, actually. Oh, I had it on my notes. Uh, Amos 3 and verse 7. And it reads, Surely the Lord, Yahweh Shai, thy power will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Yeah, man, that's why we're letting you know. Yes, it's the judgment of the Lord ultimately at the end of the day. Okay, but the one that's causing all these issues and problems, you know, and destruction really is Esau Edom, man. Okay, you know, that's why the scriptures say, save me from, the, uh, save me from your sword. Save me from thy sword, you know, talking about Esau Edom, man. You know, the, we need to be protected from this man. And the only way you're going to be protected from this man is you truly fearing Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Okay? And understanding his ways. Okay? Understanding his judgment. All right? And being down with Yahweh by Shemal Shai 100%, you know, no matter what. Okay? So I'm going to uh, continue. Amos 3 and verse 6. And it reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? Should there be evil in a city and the Lord Yahweh had not done it? Yeah, man. And we're blowing the trumpet through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And you guys should be afraid by the words that's coming out of our mouths. <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's like Chris Tucker in this thing. But, hey, for real, though. Because the words that's coming out of our mouths, the true prophecy of Yahweh Shemel Shai is no guile found with the prophecy of Yahweh Shemel Shai, man. Okay? And we strictly come out of the scriptures, man. And that's it. Okay? Everything we say, we can back up with the scriptures, man. Okay? And all this stuff that's happening, this scripture backs me up. It's the Lord, Yahweh Bashem al Shai doing it, man. Okay? The only, the only way you're going to be guided the correct way, okay, and, 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 um, and wisdom meet you, is if you truly fear Yahweh Bashem al Shai and throw away your life to save it. Okay? So let's get the other scriptures. I don't want to lesson being long. No.
is Isaiah 29, verse 6. And it reads, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Okay, yeah, man, it's the Lord visiting you, so-called Negroes, Latino, Day Americans, ultimately, man. Okay, and your other nations too, but your other nations don't mean shit. Okay, but hey, it's judgment, man. You know, the Lord gave you all this grace period, you know, it's giving y'all you know this grace period just the same way we get in, we get in this grace period to get right with Yah Bashmi Al Shai. You know, if you're not getting right with Yah Bashmi Al Shai, nothing but destruction and hell and anguish will come your way. Okay. So, you know, these are very plain scriptures. Psalms 28. In verse 5, and it reads, Psalms 28 in verse 5. And it reads, Because that because they regarded not the works of the Lord, nor the operations of his hand, he shall, he shall destroy them and not build them up. That's right. Uh Yep, let me read it again. So like it. Psalms 28 verse 5. And it reads, um, I'll start at verse 4. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their env envious en enviers. If I'm saying that wrong, Salakia. So like Give them after the works of their hands, render to them the desert. Verse, verse 5. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, Yahweh, nor the operation of his hand, he should destroy them and not build them up okay you know let me uh damn salakia i'm gonna pause this